Welcome to Happy Valley, State College, Pennsylvania. The yes, S-Zone, fired up, stands starting to fill, and they are ready to see the Penn State Nittany Lions take the field to kick off this new season. A top 25 showdown coming up. Two of college football's premier teams preparing to duke it out right here on this field. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles, taking on the seventh ranked team in the land, the Penn State Nittany Lions. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Nittany Lions will put total weather to crank us up. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Florida State Seminoles offense will have the first possession of the game. And here's the veteran, a steady set of hands, Jesse, that sort of feels like a security blanket. And that's big in a game like this, Reese. As a quarterback, I need to know I have a guy I can throw to when I get into a jam. Who can I count on? It's that guy right there. Yeah, having trust because I'm going to throw you the football when I trust you to run the right route, be at the right depth, catch the football. This guy's kind of earned that throughout his career. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Knolls send out the punt unit. You just got to wonder, too, guys, if the crowd didn't impact the offense. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Incomplete. The idea here, I think, just punt it away and see if you could regroup because this environment is hostile. The Nittany Lions offense will try to get something going with their first possession. And here comes the quarterback. And one thing you know for sure, with this team, as he goes, so goes the offense. And he's a big-time talent, Reese. This guy can hurt you in a multitude of ways, throwing and running the football. He's going to have to be dialed in, though, because this defense is going to give him a lot of different looks. It's really important mentally this QB is on his game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. To the air, it's Aller. Tight end getting vertical. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. And that's a live ball. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. Man, in all the visions and all the great things you anticipated happening for this fellow, like in the first carry, you put it on the deck. Like, that is a frustrating start, man. What a momentum swing in this game, too. Early fumble, early turnover to get this thing rolling. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. It's just not easy to bring this guy down, is it? He is so dangerous once he gets the ball in his hands. And it makes me think back to old, great seminal running backs like Warwick Dunn, Travis Miner, a guy that I used to play against. Uh, how about Dalvin Cook, even? Just guys that could make the first guy miss, and then they were able to just explode and burst and take it the distance. This guy right here, he is a unique talent. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. The Seminoles get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. That is how it's done on third down and short. And no doubt about it, an easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to... And the ball is loose and live in the backfield. That football must be riveted to your rib cage. How can you let it go? At least they fell on it. It's so hard to force fumbles. And when you do, you so badly want to get them. You're crawling. You're doing whatever you can to get there as a defender. But the offense fortunate enough to cover it back up. 
The drive continues after that fumble scare sent the offensive coordinator's blood pressure into orbit. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Finds his man. It's Douglas. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. He boomed it through. A 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. This should be the last play of the quarter. They'll give it to the back. Got the first down and still on his feet. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Looking for room, it's Singleton. And he didn't squeeze it, it's loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And that's their second fumble on two possessions. My goodness, we want to come out and establish the run and get that part of the game going, but you didn't think you had to coach ball security. That's day one. That's... That's elementary school when you're learning how to cover the points of the football. they got to do a better job taking care of the football. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on it. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Fires to the wideout. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped him. Here comes the offense on second down. The give to the back. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. Ball is loose. Well, the offense ought to go buy a lottery ticket because that ball somehow bounced right back to them. They'll keep it. From the gun, the ground game. They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll leave it with him. Drag down at the six after a pickup of two. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Back to pass. It's Uyangalale. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. That is no good. It's still a three-point game after the miss. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. They put it on the ground last time they had it. Got to take care of it this time, David. And I think you've got to put in context. A lot of times, fumbles are just luck. You, you just got to move on, give him the football again, Jesse, and not worry about it. I think that's a good point there, David. Get him the ball again to help him play the next play and know that he's okay because when that guy's playing well this offense is on fire he's stuffed after picking up one to the 23 on third down going up top with the catch it's Saunders they stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33 and it's first down the Nittany Lions come to the line with a fresh set of downs 
Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, and those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver staring at the quarterback all the way across the field, that time the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfect one. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Caught close to the marker, it's Fleming. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains and they'll mark it at the 44. To the air on first down. Quickly complete. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Whatever the fastest tempo they have is, that's what they'll use. Looking for a man. It's Aller. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. Knocked down immediately, but they couldn't stop him from getting the big gainer to the 30. They keep attacking through the air. Makes his connection. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and 10. Caught over the middle. It's crossed. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Good timing on the quick out. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. This offense can get a jolt of momentum headed to the locker room if they can take the lead here. Caught in the backfield. It's Singleton. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Perfect execution by this defense. They played pass, sat back, looked at the quarterback, took everything away, and even better, Good pass rush, finishes it, now put him in a predictable third and long situation. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Pressure in his face, and he lets it fly. Couldn't find anybody open, just threw it away, and that's a smart move. You want to avoid the turnover, especially in the red zone. It'll be fourth down. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And the field goal draws us even as we get close to halftime. So they get the late field goal right before the half, and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. Here's the return from inside his tent. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before. On the move. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, one of the best atmospheres in football, and we've got a fun one from Happy Valley. The Knowles will kick it off to start the second half. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Denton Lions going back to work on offense now. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating, man. you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against him. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the pass is intercepted. Got some room to run. 
He's at the 30. Still on his feet. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. About the only good thing that happened for the offense on that play, at least it wasn't a pick six. What a return. Yeah, that didn't look good for the offense. You know all those big fellas, those old linemen, they're not going to be able to go make the play. So as the DB getting the interception, you know if you can break that play and you can get past that level, it might, it might be to the house. It might be to the crib. Lucky that wasn't a pick six if you're on offense. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. Touchdown Seminole! And that one will put him up here in the second half. When you're handed a break with unbelievable field position like that, you better finish the deal, and they did. You saw the quarterback jog on the field. I think he gave a high five to every one of those players coming off that just put them in position to go score that touchdown. That QB knew this was a golden opportunity, and boy, he took advantage of it. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's recap that ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup that has just gone final. Texas looked like a program ready to take the next step after a big road win today. This was a complete team effort from the Horns. Offense, defense, and special teams doing its part. Hook them. And they hooked a W in this one. Going to be interesting to see what the fallout from this one is for one ranked team, while the other figures to get a bounce when the new rankings come out, guys. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there, Kevin. Thanks for the update. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. I'll tell you, honestly, I don't know what that player could have done to hold on to that football. That defender absolutely popped him. He knocked him into next week. There was no chance he was holding on to that ball. The corners are walked up tight. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same Keep the pace, keep it going. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. To the air. It's a Uyunglele. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. It's good. And now the lead is extended a little far. Give the defense a ton of credit in this sudden change situation. Their offense just coughed it up. And this defense comes out, they go three and out and force a field goal. That's a win if you're on defense. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops following and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you... And the heat gets there! And they get him down at the... Well, we've seen this offense struggle early in this game, protecting the quarterback. They went in at halftime, thought they had made the right adjustments, but... It's not looking like it right now. They're still having issues keeping this guy standing up straight. Up front, they're just getting beat across the board. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. And now they've lost the ball down here. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Ball was loose in their own end zone, and the defense recovered it for a touchdown. Defenses talk all the time about forcing turnovers, and to do that, you got to get so many hats to the football and swarm, and the ball sometimes comes out, and what do you do? You pick it up, take it back to the house. What a play by the D. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. They're lining up to kick it away, and that defense salivating after getting the scoop and score. 
And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse. They get a rough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you've got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. But they got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Coming after it. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. Well, this defense has a three-possession lead at this point. You're seeing how dominant they are up front. They have done such a good job recruiting D-linemen, linebackers, guys that can blitz. They've got speed. they found guys in the portal. They've recruited guys out of high school, and they are just eating right now. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field. Stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now when we get down there, focus on execution and get six points. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Brown. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense had a little bit of success, but the defense now, we got to figure out what they're doing. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. A little misdirection and the handoff on the counter. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. The Seminoles have this offense rolling. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? You've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and pose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking it. Under pressure, and down he goes at 33. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. This will be the eighth play of drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. The give is to Williams. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And they'll send out the field goal unit. It's unfortunate for this offense, guys. Had they not had the mental errors and mistakes early in the drive, they'd be sitting pretty right now. Even after that long gain on the running play, they've still got fourth down. That lead just keeps getting fatter, and this kickoff team doing a little running. And he's coming out of the end zone. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. Back to throw, it's Aller. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's got the tight end. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. 
You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, great. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks at a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable. And it's picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, no. That just might do it. Man, offense needed points, needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception, takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team. Deep shot for the end zone. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. After the misfire, now on second down. Well, that incompletion really tells the story of this football game. If you don't score touchdowns, it's really hard to win games. They haven't found themselves in the end zone at all in this game. Throwing it, running it, they have been completely dominant. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here with a big lead in the game, putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. And the Nittany Lions will line it up on first and ten. This quarterback has a ton of confidence in his wide receivers to win one-on-one. -on -one. You're not going to get a bigger opportunity to prove that than on that fourth down. That was a throw vertically down the field. Not an easy one to complete. He just knew where his guy was going to be and when. Stuck it right on him to keep the drive alive. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. They thought they had a good plan, but it did not work. They want that clock to run. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. A third and long coming up here. They're looking for an advantage to the right. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. This is the absolute right call. They're going for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. The short hands, it's Benson. And the Seminoles pick up the first down. With the clock running, this should be the final play. I know this is disappointing, but plenty of teams have suffered early losses and come back to have great seasons. I mean, think of 1983 Miami, one of the great teams of all time. Blown out in the opener, won the national championship. Well, some of us weren't alive. Everybody probably playing this game wasn't alive, put that comment. But uh, yeah, great example, Reese. But listen, your season isn't over. Things still down the road for you to look forward to, still improve on, can still have all of your dreams out in front of you. But you know, 83, Jesse, I know you were you were playing college football then, but sure. <laughs> I was I think I had just learned how to walk. And it's funny, guys, you know, just like that 83 team, this team that lost here today, they are 